today's motor vlog I'm gonna be talking about tall and horsepower. baby talk and horsepower first of all I'm gonna start giving you guys just the simple definition of talk and horsepower I know a lot of you guys don't know the difference and a lot of you guys do so yeah um what is talk talk is simple you know it's basically what gets you going you know acceleration you know when you twist the throttle what kicks you in the ass just talk and horsepower is what gets you there you know it's top speed what gets you to that top speed you know because torque is only between a certain a certain you know rpm and then from then on the horsepower takes over and gets you to the top speed that's it you know it's <laughs> It's not complicated. Uh, yeah, what do you guys prefer? I know a lot of people prefer to have the torque alone, you know, because they like to have hard acceleration, like uh, stunt riders. You know, stunt riders only use torque. That's why they replace the, you know, the gearing to get the bigger sprocket, the bigger rear sprocket, and the smaller front sprocket which increases their torque tremendously but decreases their horsepower you know um, because they can't the more torque they get the less top speed they get but it's a trade-off they go for you know to get the so they get easier stunting uh, on the other hand racers racers prefer horsepower you know because they they basically only need torque you know when they're when they're launching to get off the line because they're always in the higher revs you know that's how racers race they always keep the bikes in the higher revs and you know they need horsepower for the top speed no but in my case you know i need I need both, you know, <laughs> that's why I got a thousand cc and that's why I love thousand cc, you know, because they're the best, you know, there's the the best of both worlds, you know, you get, you get, you don't get the best torque, yes you do, you know, you get the best torque and the best horsepower for the weight. And you know, if, if you've never ridden a thousand, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, you get my point I want both both horsepower to get me to that top speed even though I don't hit the top speed all the time but I want the horsepower to be there you know for the occasional high, high highway blast you know I go I go through and the torque I love the torque man because the torque what makes you accelerate hard and what makes you pass cars easily on highways you know a lot of bikes can easily do 100 miles an hour but it's how quickly you get there that's what the talk that's where the talk helps you know it, it, it makes you get there quicker you know and make and helps you go faster easier with the higher horsepower and you know a lot of also you know uh, like uh, drag racers drag racers use a lot of torque but also they use a lot of horsepower because you know there's a lot of mods they do they don't they don't only get the bigger sprocket because if they get the bigger sprocket then they can only accelerate to to only a point and from there on they won't they won't be having the high speed so there's a lot of mods they do to get the crazy acceleration and also the crazy top uh, you know top speed some of the mods are probably uh, some some gearing change 
they get uh, extended extended swing arm with the biggest wheel extended swing arm what it does is it keeps your bike from wheeling I mean or at least it tries <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot harder for a bike with an extended wheel to pop a wheelie you know because it's it's got a heavier swing arm and a heavier wheel and tire on the back so that's what they use you know and also you know of course power commanders full exhaust that kind of good shit uh, but you know, just talking about street bikes honestly it's all it, it's all what you prefer you know it's all all about pref, pre, it's all about personal taste you know rather you prefer just having the talk to zip in and out of traffic if you're not interested in top speed whatsoever like if you don't go past 140 you probably don't need horsepower you know because all horsepower does is takes you is head it takes you over 40 miles an hour no over 140 you know it, it helps you go past that mark but if you got a let me give you an example uh the kawasaki z1000 yes it's a 1000 right but it's uh how do you call it it's a street fighter right? 1000 it's got a thousand engine but it's been detuned it's been giving more torque but less horsepower what makes it quick off the line but slow up top in other means if you got a z1000 uh kawasaki Z zx6r can probably beat you you know what i mean not off the line but top speed it can beat you easily because it's not detuned and it, it's, it revs higher even though it doesn't have more horsepower it will still beat you because it's a little lighter and it's not the gearing is a lot better for high, for high speed uh, yeah you know those kind of bikes they're good on torque but they suck on horsepower I got a friend that's got a Z1000. All he can get out of it is, is 150 50 miles an hour. That's his top speed on it, 150. And we're over here blowing 180 easily, you know? So that's the difference. Even though the, we technically have the same engine, but his engine has been detuned, you know, to give it more, more torque, you know, and make it more usable on the, on the street, you know? Because it's, it doesn't have a snatchy throttle, you know, it's not trying to kill you every time you twist the throttle and shit. Man, why there's always fucking traffic on the 76, man? Always. Fucking Philadelphia is turning into goddamn New York, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry to my New York guys, man. But honestly, that's why I don't go to New York, guys. <laughs> traffic, man. I hate traffic. That's why I don't ride in the day so as, as often as I used to. I just can't stand traffic. I, don't, I mean, I don't like lanes. I don't like lane splitting, but I'm not stick. I'm not staying in traffic either, you know. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that's my little more vlog on you know horsepower versus torque. Once more, horsepower torque is what gets you going. Horsepower is what gets you there, you know. It's simple. You know, you know people you hear people talking about talk you know horsepower power to weight ratio kind of shit they make it complicated but it's it's, it's easy what gets you there and <laughs> what gets you going <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna split my way out of this shit here you know all right peace